Hi and welcome to the Linux continuity of the VI editor, Beam editor and Nano. So we have sorted now how to create, how to remove, how to copy, how to move cut paste of the file and folder. Now we're going to see if I want to add it content of the file. So this is very important because in the Ansible or Python, we have to frequently add it or add or remove the content as a code, as a source code. Dear guys, so let's see that. So we're going to see the three features, three tool that is called first Nano. Nano is a very beautiful tool, very easy to use and we will start practicing this. I would recommend it that you start using this. Then you go for VI editor or VI having the more powerful editor that is called Beam editor. Okay, so I'm not going to show you VI editor, it's a legacy one. I will show you the Beam editor. So if you comfortable with the Beam editor, you can easily play with the VI editor. Clear guys with the topic. Let's see why. Let's start exploring one by one. I'm going to create the screen by pressing the control L. Now I have created a screen. Now first, easy one, nano. Suppose I have created one file. How do I add the content in that? Okay, so we have to see that. Let's create one content. By nano, I can create one content that is giving the name. Uh, you can give any name so let's test for editing this is the name test for editing I'm not going to give a space so name is test for editing so nano follow with the name whatsoever you want dot txt just to give so I will enter it will prompt one screen Ever, it's like text you can type anything whatsoever whatsoever so you have to verify your name test for editing.txt and you can see at the bottom there is so many helping command is saying this is a new file of course there is no file I'm not editing it's a new file I'm created and they will give you get help so this this up arrow you can see this is called control control G control X control O control R control G get help control X exit control O write out control R read the file so these these things you have to explore so I'm going to while you are you are going to practice this slowly you will get to know about all this so let me show you the very basic. So I'm going to type enter. You can come up and down. Now you can type this is Linux operating system. Linux OS system. Okay. And then second line. Whoa. It's working well for me. For me. Okay. That's all. I given two lines. And let's see how you have to save this you can edit anything anything you can copy paste over here that's very easy suppose I open leave it here I, I, I'm going to open any web browser or oh, any web browser and content suppose DevOps I given DevOps and I will copy some content from here I want to add it. Thank you for joining the DevOps CCNA class. This I copy and you can paste here. So what is the cut paste here? Just do control B, sorry, control shift B. Okay, can you see? Here, control shift B you have to use. Okay, so thank you for joining DevNet. You can copy paste anything also. Let's write this. So either you go for control X, if you do control X, exit, they will ask you to saving. This is one way or you specifically 
implicitly you have to write out so that's a control o control o as soon as you are going to say they will say the file name to write with the so and so file name so you have to do control c cancel control g or you can do yes yes or you can enter so as soon as you enter they are telling that you have successfully wrote nine lines is it line lines yes they will contain even blank line one two three four five six seven eight and nine you are on the nine so you have edited nine here guys now you have to do control x it's already saved control o you have already done generally i do the control x and they will ask you want to save i will do yes so let's see this is the nano test file whether do have any content we have edited using the nano so i will see using the more file i want to view yeah see there is a whole line is blank then followed by the uh, this is linux os system oh it's working well for me okay now if i have created file i want to add it can i use yes you can use the editing now it's not a new file for creation also you can give new file name or for the editing you can use the older file name this will come as a we have read nine nine it will not come with the new file it will come with the, now you can add this so how you either you add upper door wherever you want or you want to do edit i want to four blank line i have given so i want to edit this just for testing just for testing so testing and we will do this time i will not do control o this time i will do control x and let's see it's going to ask me to write or not save modify buffer yes or no yes i want to do as soon as you click yes it will come to that and then save it this and let's see the things is added or not you can see just for testing we have edited clear guys easy understanding tell me yes no we should move yes, forward sir. now let's go for same way the, as the nano is a one tool for editing creating a file same way we have creating and editing file something called vi you can see we have as soon as i will create the they will tell that the vi improved is bim okay and quit to exit half enter these things just i added so we have version 8.1 by this so bim is a open source and freely distributed can you see that so i will which quit quit and we will quit to this so let's use the vim editor i'm able to use vim let me see tab no vim is not usable here so i have to install for that vim but vi is a improved vim one means vi is a vim is a improved vim one so we have to install vim i don't want to install right now here i have already installed in in our vm that is called linux automation i hope you have this already so i'm going to go for automation linux okay and in that you can practice this vim one okay so meanwhile i have vim editor in my local system also so i'm going to show you in that local system let's see v i m if i'm i will do vim and tab They stopped so beam also not installed in my this so let me go for the my linux wait for the automation so i have already installed in the linux mint automation lab which i already shared you 
okay guys so any question till here you can ask for no ashwari till here it's okay uh, everything is you know self explanatory by the command yes very good switch on Okay. Oh yes, here is student. Okay, we are here now. So I, I'm going to go into the my terminal. That's uh, this is my terminal. Uh, and I will. This is my turn. So let's see that beam. As soon as I click the beam. You can see the beam are oh, there beam is walking okay now so let's create the any file like beam and i'm going to create so test one with beam test one beam okay so dot txt i just here so enter now we are in new like nano we have new but there is a there is a triddle triddle symbols so we have new file you can see here here you can't do anything suppose i'm putting anything they are telling that's the wrong way no you can't do you have to you have to something insert you will not allow to type anything till you will say i want to insert something that is called i as soon as you will click i see here here at the bottom there is nothing appear here as soon as i will click i it will come as insert so always remember for vi editor or vim editor you have to want to type anything you have to give the i i allow you to insert the command now you can insert the command so i'm going to insert the command now i'm edit this is beam editor this is beam editor i am doing testing testing and this is very famous one and if you want to really coder you use this this is a little little tricky little tough but it's easy and like um, you can use this um, beam editor supported by the firewall supported by the load balancer f5 in the in the very way very very explosive way means in day to day you going to use this very accelerated way so now how you want to now you don't want to you have to come out the insert mode you went into the insert mode with the i command i keyword you have to come out with the insert word by pressing the escape you have to remember i with the inserting escape you have to come out with the insert mode once you place the escape so you can see at the bottom the insert keyword removed means you are whatever you will going to type it's not going to it's not going to meaning anything oh here i have typed it. okay now whatever you type it's coming in insert you have to press the escape button then you have to go for the shift colon shift colon if you press it will come at the bottom colon okay and then q q for quit okay and exclamation come to the where i watch come to that point where i watch so what I, I want to write this so quit with the right w means right if you will not give it a w it will not write come to there where i watch to so enter that yes this is telling you are not allowed to write you are not allowed to write so what you have to do for this you have to okay why you are not allowed to write because for that you need privilege 
you have to always do pseudo privilege then only you are allowed to authorize to write this is the security with the beam but for nano it's not so secure so you can go with the student now you have provision you want to already exist this you want to abort you can do abort a and is aborted now i can create any new file let me do test second one with the beam with the beam.txt this is the name i can write this time i were using the sudo command i use the sudo command so i can write anything this is how do you write just go for insert i you can see here insert then i will write this is this is editing beam okay now you can press escape insert will gone then colon i want to quit with the right and the same page i want to go here i have done same mistake sudo this give you text file second file why it's coming like this let me do this okay beam simple one test third one txt let's do that new file then insert and you can write this is testing one okay and then write okay to vim editor okay to vim now i will go for a skip colon i'm not going to do anything i just want to quit let me quit this yes it's you quit successfully but now we have the file so let's the edit one now it's the new file third one again is going for third one okay because we have not saved so let's do that again insert mode insert mode this is file for test and then escape you do colon this time write quit okay what is the error do you know why it's not coming earlier because i given first quit then write if you quit then write there's no writing first you have to do write then follow the quit got it guys here see we have this file you can see now what i was doing the mistake so first i given the quit then follow let's do the edit again so I'm going to add it insert mode. So you have to follow the syntax in this year because this is you have to yes, go because once we are quitting, then no meaning no, of no meaning of right. right. That's why syntax error that's giving. Yeah. So again, again, we have to abort that. Be careful here. So first you have to write, then follow the quit. Okay, so let's edit that. First, write, then followed by quit okay practice accordingly so now i will enter and escape with the editing insert mode gone now we have to colon we have to write then quit you then exclamation so i'm here now let's check this this file do we have edited one cat txt test third txt so you can this is a file for test first write and then follow by the code. so i am going to stop here for the all three sections uh, we saw the beam vi editor and nano how to edit how to create the the file system i will see you in next class bye